Hello there beautiful, how are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joseph and welcome to another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video for Should You Pull. And today we're going to be talking about the character that was once the most busted thing to ever grace Dissidia Opera Omnia, which of course is Aranea. But in this day and age, maybe things are a little different. There's a lot of characters that have a lot of power level and Aranea is in fact the last character to get her C90. So is she going to be worth your resources here? Well, if you want to find out more, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Before we get started, don't forget to check out all of my social media links down in the description box below, including Twitter, Twitch, Discord, and Patreon. I took a few days off from Twitch because I wanted to kind of uh, just reinvigorate some things for myself, and I'm starting to get more of an idea of the direction that I want to take the channel in. I have, in fact, been posting some Should You Play videos for the likes of Valkyrie Elysium and then Tactics Ogre. I have more of those coming out as well, so if you'd like to give those a look, then by all means, please feel free to do so. Over on Twitch, I'm going to be streaming lots of Pokemon on Saturday. Saturday and hopefully plenty of time after that so if you want to come and join in with that then by all means feel free to come and join me over on there as well. We're getting close on the Final Fantasy X randomizer and I've actually been kind of not secretly but on the down low learning to speed run Final Fantasy X so if that's something you want to see from me in the future then perhaps you might want to leave a comment and go hey that sounds really cool it'd be lovely to hear from you. Of course over on Patreon every time I release a video I always shout out one of my patrons to show my appreciation for each one in, in, each individual person that decides to do so and today that person is going to be Impulse X who um, been one of, who's been one of my patrons for a very long time so a massive shout out goes to you thank you ever so much for your support and to all of my patrons for providing their support is certainly in this kind of weird transitional phase that I'm having on the channel at the moment and it does mean an awful lot so thank you very much and of course don't forget to go and check out all of the other social media resources and uh, influences there are for Dissidia Opera Omnia as well. So let's start by taking a look at the banner that we have that's featuring Aranea. And as you can see here, we have Aranea in her full kit, including her brand new FR. Sellers BT features here, and then Kate Sith and Fran are here with their LD kits as well. Which is both still quite nice LDs to have for their call abilities, if nothing else. I'm not sure I'd go out of my way for them at this point, because we have so many different call abilities that are really strong now. But they're definitely nice pickups if you don't happen to have them. So let's take a look at what Aranea actually gets from this. So she's the only character that gets anything new here. So big thank yous to Medea for their translations once again. So Aranea's rework basically just adds a buttload of skill uses to her and increases her HP dumps. And also makes it so that the plus versions of Dragoon Dive and High Wind now don't consume skill uses. So because you typically have the <laughs> overclock on all the time now, thanks to the reworks that she's had in the past and this one, you're pretty much never going to run out of skill uses with Aranea, which is pretty cool. But then, obviously, High Wind is her rebreak ability, and then Dragoon Dive is her delaying ability, or her primary delaying ability. And obviously, with the Million Assault, it makes it so that everything that she does has rebreak on it in addition. This now has 5 HP dumps on it, and because of the way her EX works, you tend to get 2 turns for the price of 1 when it comes to Aranea, which can be good in some situations. It's not the most ideal thing in FR era because obviously, as I've said many a time before, you'd rather have more HP dumps in less turns so you're getting the most out of your force type. And that's definitely appropriate when it comes to her. Vital Crusher, which is the debuff that she's most well known for, which increases uh, brave da uh, critical damage and guarantees critical damage against those enemies, is now inflicted to all targets with High Wind rather than just the one you're targeting and extends its duration. Also really nice stuff there as well. So Air Superiority now gives 4 HP dumps on it. And High Speed Maneuver is now uh, like lasts for 6 turns. So you're likely to never run out of it while you've got Aranea going. And also you get a free skill ability on the next turn. And when using Air Superiority Plus, you actually extend your overclock buff. Which is huge for her because... You never really wanted to use Air Superiority Plus before now because you wanted to get Overclock from the regular Air Superiority. So this is actually a big deal when it comes to Aranea. She's, with just her LD kit, she actually gets quite a lot here and she plays very well with other characters that have break-based FR weapons like Vayne or Cloud of Darkness or delay-based ones like Cloud of Darkness as well. There are ways you can use Aranea if you want to without actually having access to her FR weapon. Just be, bear in mind that she likes to do things over the course of multiple turns as opposed to doing it all in one turn. 
So when we're looking at her FR weapon, she's paired up with Fang, which seems like a fairly appropriate pairing if you ask me. It also gives her overclock, it also inflicts Vital Crusher, and has 3 HP dumps in it. Now the thing that separates Aranea from a lot of FR characters is that her Force Time actually has an additional effect in addition to Force Time itself. Because when Aranea breaks an enemy, their turn is delayed by an extra turn, as well as the turn delay you get from the break anyway. And also, when a character deals critical brave damage, you get brave like uh, extra HP damage and extra HP damage cap up as well, which is very nice to see at this point in time. The actual force time itself, when delaying an enemy, 40%. When a turn passes with a character dealing critical brave damage, plus 30%. So... It's a pretty nice sort of delay based FR, but she's not the first character to have something like this. So if you have something like Vayne and you wanted to take Aranea with the LD only kit, you could definitely do that because her LD allows her to break on everything that she does. You still get Vayne's follow ups on stuff as well. So you can do things that way if you wanted to. Although she obviously doesn't do melee damage, she does range damage, so that's something to bear in mind. She like Her FR is nice, but I definitely think that if there is any one FR weapon during Celez's batch that I'm less fussed about than the others, it probably is Aranea's, which makes me kind of sad, because I actually really enjoy Aranea as a character. I think she's definitely been like one of the shining lights of Dissidia over the years, and to see that she's just pretty good like everyone else at this point is kind of saddening but she does still have her benefits vital crusher is still kind of nice in this day and age the fact that she has so much delay means that she's going to work well with other characters that do the same i use Vayne as an example cloud of darkness is actually a really good one and interestingly enough the way that cloud of darkness is um if our bonus is worded for delay does also include break so that's something you can bear in mind for Aranea as well i believe they work the same way if i'm incorrect on that then i'm happy to stand corrected but it's it's nice stuff when it comes to Aranea. Do you really need another delay character right now? Unlikely, but it's nice to know that there's access there available. So now let's take a quick look at the event that's coming along with Aranea. And like many Intersecting Wills missions, this one's very chill and very easy. So we have here the two mid Midgarsama enemies, which are snake-like enemies we've fought many, many times. And they will inflict a HP poison onto characters that they attack. It's all single target stuff really, so nothing major to worry about on that front. Of course, big thank yous go to DeceiviaCompendium.com for the information presented here. And the things that you want to worry about here are the fact that they, at 30 and 60% of their force time, will trigger a mode that makes it so that they take a lot less damage and can't be broken through conventional brave damage. But they can still be broken through instant break effects and forced break effects. So if you want to do things that way, you can do it that way. Or this buff is then cancelled if you receive if they receive critical brave damage while they're in that mode. So obviously this would be where Aranea comes in. But realistically, if you wanted to use the likes of Barrett, Ksip, Saz, LD cool stuff like that. You have crit rate available, or Tifa. Tifa maxes out her own crit rate. You can absolutely do it that way and cancel it that way. And then if they get the, but if they get their gauge filled up again while they're in that mode, then they will then cancel all of their debuffs. They'll cleanse themselves and they'll restore their HP, which obviously you don't want. Their force ability attack is they'll do an AOE bravery attack that removes all of your buffs if they break you or, or hit you while you're broken. So that's something that you want to consider. Their force time, they basically can't take damage while they're in it. So as long as you can keep yourself going, then it's nice and easy. However, the thing I will point out, they have 95 million HP each. And there's two of them. Which is nothing by today's standards. Doesn't have to be Renoa, doesn't have to be Tifa. Honestly, pretty much any BTFR rushdown is absolutely going to work at this point. They actually only have three attacks of their own. They have Bite, they have Injure, which are melee HP, melee bravery, and um, Spew, which is a group a bravery attack that inflicts poison. Past that, it's actually really quite an easy fight. 95 million HP, it's nothing. You can just take it down in seconds if you wanted to. So now at this point in the video, we have Would You Pull, the section of the video where you guys get you get, get to have your voice be heard and let everyone know whether you're pulling on a banner or not. So going into the numbers straight off the bat, big thank yous of course go to my patrons for casting their votes and their comments. 
5% of people have said yes to gems, 25% of people have said 100 or more tickets, 25% of people have said less than 100 tickets, and 45% of people have said no thank you. Which is honestly one of the highest no thanks kind of pulls I've seen in quite some time. Which I think kind of goes to show that while Aranea is really nice and there's a lot of benefits to her kit, She's just not largely needed right now, and as somebody who really enjoys the character and was very heavily considering pulling on her, I'm probably not going to now, because to be honest with you, like I pulled pretty heavily for sellers and didn't get anything, so at this point I'm like, well, sacrifices have to be made somewhere, and I guess Aranea is going to have to be that character, because I kind of want Dorgan, and enough that I'm willing to use gems on him, because I really like the character, not because everybody has to pull on him. So I'm going to have to make some sacrifices somewhere. But let's go into some comments and see what other people have to say. So Luis Yamato says, I plan to use about 200 tickets in Aranea. I love her as a character. And she's currently the only FF15 character I don't have built yet. If I'm lucky, I might also get Sellers BT from my pools as well. But that'll just be a bonus. Truth be told, I don't actually know how good she is. But she's a favourite, so I'll pull on her. Honestly, in this kind of day and age of the game, you really can pull on whoever you want. And it's largely going to be alright. Sometimes I question whether, like, the validity of my Should You Pull videos is actually needed anymore because, realistically, you, you can just go for whoever you want and you'll largely be alright. For the actual event itself, because, like, cancelling the force time and stuff is a thing, if I wanted to take a character that can do it, because it, what they require is a ranged FR attack that, like, inflicts a debuff, I'll probably just take Faris because she does that as well. But, so therefore, that's even more reason for me to not necessarily need Aranea. And then let's go into some other comments here. So Multiracial Lion says, Tickets to Miss Highwind. Aside from being one of the first characters with a real FR effect, she gets a great re rework and is a wonderful combo piece for break rebreak team strategies, which I enjoy. It's been a bit since I've used her, and I'm looking forward to dusting her off the Magitek Spear. I do think it's really nice that there are effects outside of Force Time itself, and it is nice to see that, and there are more characters like that going forward as well. Um, and it's stuff that's like tangible, like you can see it doing its work, and that's really nice. I absolutely agree with that. And finally, Kellen says, I got back into the city after the time of her global release, and I always heard the stories of how busted she was. When I got to use her finally, it always didn't matter since it was a different time by the time she was released. She's very fun to use, especially with Cypher and Quistus, but I'm of a mind that this time it almost doesn't matter. This is a tough skip for me, as I do like Aranea, but my resources are being saved for Dorgan at the moment. If he's nice to me, I'll come back. Honestly, I'm pretty much in the same boat here. Like, I don't have Sellers BT, I don't even have her FR at this point. But if I were to get Sellers BT on either of the- or, or I didn't get it on, on Dorgan's banner and he turned out to be quite nice to me, I might throw a few tickets at Aranea and see how I go, although my tickets have been doing this for a while. So luckily we have another summon coming up fairly soon, so we're going to have to see how that goes too. So now we ask the big question, should you pull on Aranea? And honestly, I think Aranea is still great at what she does. Like, she delays and she hurts pretty hard while she's doing it. So if you're against enemies that don't resist what she does, you can absolutely use her to give yourself breathing space for, you know, your abilities to set up. Although realistically, if you need those and you don't, and you have Quistus, you'd use her. Or you would use characters that take instant turns and fill up the force gauge that way. So that's something that kind of goes against her a little bit. However, the fact that she has HP cap ups as well as an additional effect on like, added onto her FR is definitely nice. So you could pair her up with characters like Vayne or any character that does rebreak, really, and you'll probably find that there's use in her FR. However, I think that Aranea's biggest issue is that she can't actually stop herself from taking multiple turns, even during force time, because her LD buff makes it so that everything that she does rebreaks, which then, given her EX ability, gives her an additional turn. And she doesn't have that many HP dumps in her kit, she doesn't have a BT or anything, so you'd have to be quite meticulous in how you plan to use Aranea if you wanted to get the most out of her. And realistically, delay and rebreak, not really a unique thing anymore. There are so many characters that do that kind of thing that I think that the important thing here is to ask yourself if it's something you actually need or just something you kind of want. 
So that's going to be all for today's video. A massive thank you for all of you to watch today. I'm going to be streaming Arunea's event like on Monday when it's released as well. And we'll probably use that to lead into Pokemon. I actually haven't done Sellers' event yet either. Don't judge me. It's the first time I've ever not done an event. The first day it came out terrible, I know. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Arunea. And yeah, like just don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notification on the other videos you might be making. And if you'd like to support the channel further, then honestly... Go and check out the other videos that I've made on the Should You Pull Ser or Should You Play series and see what you guys think of that. It's something that I'm experimenting with and I'm getting more confident with over the course of time. I am also exploring speedrunning at the moment and I'm actually having a really good time. Big shout out to shout out to Aquana who's been teaching me to speedrun FF FF10 and I've actually had a really good time with it. So if you'd like to know more about that, then definitely hit me up over on Discord or anywhere you'd like to find me over on social media. So thank you all very much for joining in and I will see you later, beautiful. Take care.